Hey guys, how are you? It's Julie. I am here to go live with you. Um, I have a special guest today in the studio. Fiona. Say hi, Fiona. She's not as impressed as one would have hoped. So anyway, hey, I'm so glad you guys are here. So let me tell you what I've got going now. I am starting a three week series of get well projects. I don't know about you, but I have friends who are sick right now. I have friends who um, have just gotten over being sick. I have, you know, just people who have had procedures done. And so, I mean, it's just that time of year, you know, I mean, it, whether it's the flu or a bug or a virus or allergies, they're just people who are sick. And if you're like me, I want to drop them a thank you card. I want to do a little something for them. And honestly, sometimes I get there and sometimes I don't. So I thought, you know what, we'll, we'll do this series. I'm going to show you guys how to do these projects. Um, some are cards, some are 3D items, and hopefully we can bring a little bit of joy into the world for people who are sick. So three weeks this Monday, next Monday, and then I think it's February 4th. That Monday at one o'clock, I'm gonna be here doing projects for you all around the theme of get well soon. So I think we should get started. Now, most of you guys know when I do my projects, they tend to be quick and easy. That's kind of what I like. I am actually gonna do four projects for you today. Two of them are gonna be quick and easy cards. One is gonna be a card that is a little bit more difficult, um, not hard at all, just a few more steps. And then I'm gonna show you a box that um, you can put some treats in. So that's what we've got. Now the way the class works, it's a free online class. So sit back and enjoy yourself. If you decide to place an order, I will send you all of the pre-cut supplies for the projects that I'm making today with a $35 order. With a $50 order, you will get to choose a celebration item and I'm gonna send you some gems too. So let's not even think about that right now because we have things to make. So let's start with the easiest card. I'm gonna go on and lower the, uh, the phone, i.e. the camera, and let's just see where we end up. I have set up my computer over here, by the way, so maybe I'll be able to work out how to see comments if you put any comments there. And if you don't, that's okay too. I know I'm kinda, kinda new at this, so we're gonna give it a go. But if you are out there, say hi. Just say hi so I know someone's there. And if not, again, that's okay. Fiona's over here, so I'm not alone. All right, so this is the first card that we're gonna make. Just a very, very quick and easy card. But I wanna tell you a couple things about it that I like. First of all, it uses, and I'm gonna show it to you. This is a Hostess Choice from the, um, the, the new mini catalog. It is one of those thick, thick packs of paper. It's called, I think it's called, Be not Beautiful Flowers. Let me see, I've got it right. They are flowers and more, flowers and more. So they're bright, fun, cheery colors, and I love these. You know with a $150 order, you can choose this for your hostess item, and I'm using it a lot because I just think it's great. It's 48 sheets too, so I think you would like it as well. So we're gonna start off, got our Fresh Frisia card back, moving the camera down. Thank you for this. This is the part where you get dizzy a little bit, and one good thing about having my computer over here is that I can see kind of exactly what we got going here. So I, I think, yeah, I think I'm pretty good. Let me make sure when I see my fingers do this. Yep, okay, we're gonna start stamping. Now the main stamp set that I'm gonna focus on today is this one. It is actually from the annual catalog. It's called Speedy Recovery. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but I really like it. I think um, it's great for making get well cards. It's super cute. I love the font and so I, I hope that you guys like it as well. So I'm just using the word stamp from it right now. And that one says, wishing you a speedy recovery. So I'm gonna go on and put that there and let's get started. So I have my card pieces here and my fresh freesia. Such a pretty purple. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm not a huge purple person, but um, I do like, I do like this one. And I'm gonna go on and adhere. Where's my adhesive? See, this is this is what happens for Julie. When she starts doing things, she has everything laid out and then she can't find her adhesive. So, well, okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're not gonna freak out over it. We're gonna go with the glue. This means I'm really gonna have to be careful. I am not great with glue. 
So put a little bit here. Some of you guys love this glue, this Tombow glue. It's not my favorite, but that's just because I make a mess with it. So this is gonna go right on top of our card. It's easy, a nice photo mat, or it's actually not gonna be a photo mat. And then I'm gonna take the DSP. I think a lot of times when we wanna make things for people, we're like, oh, I don't have time, I don't have time. My um, regular stampers, they know we've got about three layouts that we just keep as simple, easy layouts. And this would be one of them. I think that you can take any simple layout and you can use it for anything you want to. As you can see, this card, I mean, at this point, it could be for anything. I could use it for anything. I could use it for a birthday. I could use it for what I'm using it for, for get well. I could use it for thinking of you. I could use it for, I mean, just anything. It's just a very easy layout. And it's a very versatile card. So I have already gone on and pre-cut this die piece. This is from the coordinating dies that go with the He's All That stamp set and I'm going to stamp my sentiment. Now this, this is a weird sentiment here. This is, the sizing of it is weird. So for this one, I like to go on and stamp first and then I'll use my, um, my big shot guys, the layering circles and cut it out. So you hear me finagling over here, I wanna show you something. This is where I keep all my white scraps. I keep all my white scraps right in this bag. And whenever I'm ready for a white scrap, I just grab this bag and come on. So I've got a scrap here and I'm gonna use the Coordinating Fresh Freesia ink. Stamp my sentiment. Okay, I got a little bit of a mark there, but it's not gonna matter because I'm cutting it out with the dies. I've already laid out my die here. It's a circle die from the Layering Circles set. Honestly, you guys, doing this, it's like aerobics. All of my stuff is just laid out all over. Okay, I'm taking my Boho Blue Mini Big Shot, which I love. I don't know if you guys have, um, have, have seen this or not, but if you join Stampin' Up, this is a little bit wide here. i trim it down. If you join Stampin' Up, you get one of these Mini Blue Big Shot machines for free with your kit. You also get $175 worth of product. Any product that you want, $175 worth of product for $129. So that's just like a great, great deal. I really like this though. I like having this little die machine right by my desk because it doesn't take up a lot of space. I actually just put it down at the floor at my feet and I have it. Look, see, there you go. That little line that I got, you can't even, can't even tell. I mean, it's not even not even an issue. So I'll set this aside. I'll move these pieces here. And if you want to know more about joining Stampin' Up! and how to get that amazing, amazing Mini Big Shot. I know it has a, 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 a name, Mini Cut and Emboss or Mini, mini something. Let's just remember Mini, okay? Um, I can help you with that. I know a girl. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue this on here. I love, again, and I mean, I know we say it, the first time you ever came across Stampin' Up, you probably heard this again and again and again, because it's kind of our claim to fame. But I just, every time I make something, I get excited about it. The way that our colors match. I just love the way that our colors match. And that's just something that you can't take away from Stampin' Up. Our inks, our papers, they match. You're not using all sorts of different colors, different purples, different reds, all of that. So I'm just going to plop that on there. Easy, easy, easy. Now, of course, I want to add just a little bit of fun. So I'm going to take the iridescent pastel gems and plop one or two of those on there. Let's see. I'm going to go kind of with the clearer color and I think I'm gonna go with these big ones. Oh, that's so fun. Yay, I love that. This take a pick tool works really great too for getting these, if you're like me, maybe you struggle a little bit getting those off the acetate. And there you go, card number one. It's quick, it's easy, it's cute. So again, I will send you the supplies to make this card. All the big shot pieces will be cut out. You can use this stamp set, Speed Recovery. If you don't have it, you can order it. Um, 
or you can use something that you have because like I said this is such a versatile card okay so project one out of the way you ready let's move on to our next project next project is a card as well it's a little bit of a step up but not a ton not a ton this is a card that I showed that people really seem to like now this card we're going to use Calypso Coral Mango Medley which is a color I don't use it a lot and when I look at it I'm like I really like that color I'm going to use some of this DSP. Now, this DSP, look at that. See how nice it matches there? This DSP is a celebration choice. It is um, with a $100 purchase. You can get this package of DSP free. It's called Dandy Designs. Again, 48 sheets, all sorts of super cute colors. So if I were going to place a $100 Stampin' Up! order, which I have, I can promise you that this would be one of the sets that are one of the choices that I would get. So let's go on and get started. I've already cut this out with my stitch shape size. I'm gonna give you a little tip here, okay? If you have just like some regular dies that are um, shapes, sometimes you cut things out and you end up not needing it. What I do when I have those extra pieces, I just throw them in the envelope, see? Or in the container that I have my dies. That way, when I want to make a sample or I need something quick, I've got some things that are already cut out. Some of them are in the color that I want, so that saved me a lot of time. But some of them are, are, are there just for me to see sizing. So that's a tip that I'm a big, big fan of, okay? Now, for this card, we're going to use the Beautifully Happy Celebration Choice. This Celebration Choice, also a $100 purchase, you can get this set for free. Why do you like that? Or why would you like that? For me, I like it because it is a nice mix of images, okay? It's two-step stamping, so the color is added on there really easily, but it's got these great sentiments. Now, again, we're going with the get well, so I'm going to do this one. It says, for a feeling better kind of day, and then underneath it, it has a sentiment that says sending happy thoughts. So I'm going to do sending happy thoughts, and then on the end side, I could put for a feeling better kind of day. So let's, let's get going. Let's give this one a shot. Go on and fold my card base. And I think for this, I'm going to cut a, um, an insert, a white insert. So I'll, I'll do that when we get to that part. A lot of times I just cut the front, but I want to do an insert on this one. I am also going to go ahead and adhere this. Now I've cut these down to five and a quarter or five and a half lengthwise. Both of them are five and a half lengthwise. And then this one, and I've written these measurements down on my sample. So this is five and a half by three and a quarter and or the mango five and a half by three and a quarter and this would be five and a quarter by three so oh i see my adhesive boom see i don't panic just don't panic sometimes people don't want to do videos because they are scared they'll mess up i am certain i will mess up i am a hundred percent certain i will mess up so that takes the fear off of it i was doing the um the welcome and the announcements at my church yesterday and so i was closing and telling you know kind of doing the the closing um, announcements and telling people goodbye and prayer and all that kind of stuff. And I was holding up a card that is what we use for connect. Like if you want to connect as a QR code on it, y'all, I cannot remember the name of the card for anything, for anything. And, um, so I just, I looked at this crowd of like 500 people and I'm like, what is this called? They're like, it's a card. I'm like, okay, it's a card. So I know I'm going to mess up. Okay, so I see some questions here. Jennifer asked, where is this DSP from? Jen, if you're asking about this piece right here, it is from the, the choice, the Dandy Designs Celebration Choice with a $100 purchase. Um, if you're asking about the DSP of the card that we just did, that is from a Hostess Choice with the new catalog, the um, Occasions Catalog, I guess the January through April catalog, and it's called... Um, like flowers all day, something something like that. So that's where that's from. Jen, the mini boss and the big boss. That's good. Hey, Laura, how are you? Okay, see, I just, I remembered, I set up my computer to be able to look at announcements and, or, well, <laughs> announcements. See, I've got it on the brain. To look at comments, and then I've got to look at comments. So, all right, let's take this Calypso Coral and open it up. I am a fan. I don't know if you guys are. I like to use all the stamps. And see this, these little speckles here, you guys, I love speckles. I'm not going to lie. I love speckles because speckles add a lot of interest in like the, the, the trickiest kind of way. It's like you put them on a card or on a project and it shows just a little bit of texture, but it's one of those things that people don't really think, 
oh, I'm, I'm looking at all the texture. Plus, you don't have to do it perfectly. So a little bit in that corner. I just like to do a little bit in my corners, okay? So a few little speckles in the corners. Don't worry if you're like, I don't like that, Julie. I liked everything you were doing, and now you've ruined it. I have not ruined it. Trust me. I have ruined enough things to know when I have ruined something. This ain't that day. Okay, so I've got that. I've got my DSP border here. And I am going to go on and just adhere that right down here. So see, my speckles are just kind of there, adding a little bit of interest. But isn't this fun? I mean, it just pulls that, that paper just pulls these colors through. And honestly, I would not have put this paper together. I, I, I just wouldn't have. So, but because people who are smarter than me at Stampin' Up! did, I'll do it too. I'm a big fan of copying. Okay, so I'm going to put my speckles away. That's one thing with them. They're so small. You've got to... You gotta go on and put them away right quick or else you'll lose them. Ask me how I know. Okay, so speckles away. Now I'm gonna take this main stamp right here, okay? It's the main floral image. If you like to color, this is a great one to color with. If you don't like to color, not a problem because you can use the, the, the two-step part, the ink right there. And I'm going to just put this here. Now, I know right now, okay, I know some of you just come and watch me because you feel sorry for me. And I don't blame you. I, I will take that, honestly. But others of you um, are like, Julie, wait, that block, it doesn't fit. I know it doesn't fit, but I don't need it to fit is the thing. I just want this part up here. So as long as that part fits, I'm okay. So I'm going to ink this up with my Memento Black here. And I'm doing it because I want it to, to pop. And I'm going to take... My stitched, you gotta be careful saying that, stitched shapes circle. And I'm gonna go on and put that there. See, I just wanted a little bit of it, all right? I just wanted a little bit. Now, you have an option here if you want to. You can have that in the black, which is okay. But you know what? This is how I stamp. And I don't know, maybe you guys are the same. I look at it and I'm like, you know what? I thought that was gonna look good, but I don't like it anymore. Do you ever do that? I don't like it anymore. So I'm going to change the color. So I'm just going to flip it over with my magic paper. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go with that mango medley color. I don't know that mango medley color. Ooh, Jen Vanderbecken doesn't feel sorry for me. Excellent. Okay. I think I'm going to like this better. Ink, 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 ink. And pop it on there. And again, there's really no right or wrong way to pop it. Oh, I do like that better. I do. If you guys like the black, you can do it in the black, but I like this better. Okay. Mango medley. Got that squared away. So that is going to go on my card here. And I'm going to just go. Yes. I like that so much better. I'm just going to go on and adhere it. Goodbye. Goodbye, black. Right here. Again, remember, this is a, a kind of simple card. And now I'm going to put my sentiment. Now, remember, I, I have the sentiment already included in this stamp set. So when you're thinking, well, Julie, that's all, I mean, that, that's free. Yeah, but it's with a $100 order. I just want you to think not of the amount, but I want you to think of the value because I can now go and I can get my sentiment for my feeling better kind of day. That's what I'm going to use for the inside. And then I'm going to do my sending you wishes right here okay you'll notice i only have two blocks out right now it's just easier i think that way rather than having a ton of blocks okay sending you wishes two things to note when you have photopolymer stamps like this the first one you want to make sure that you have a foam mat underneath i have the stampin up foam mat it gives you a better image and then secondly when you have really small font like this you're gonna need to be careful. You don't wanna smush that into your um, into your paper because if you do, it's just gonna be a blob, okay? So you wanna ink it up really lightly and we will just see if I do a good job on this or not. Odds are out. My husband is in Vegas for a work trip, so I have odds on the brain. Okay, sending happy thoughts. I think that's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. All right, I'm going to let that sit for a minute. Here's another thing that I learned, and maybe you guys already knew this. I did not. Um, for me, the Memento ink has to sit for a minute when it's on white. 
I don't know why that is. Let me know. Do you do you guys have that too? I, I don't I, I do. I don't know if y'all do or not. So this is just I'm cutting the insert here four by five and a quarter. Well I'm gonna let it sit for a second. Okay. And then I am going to switch it up with for a feel better kind of day. And that's gonna go on the inside. Boom. That's pretty cute. And then because I, I mean, I, I, it is cute, but I don't want it to be just like, whoa, uh, that's a technical term, by the way, whoa. I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna grab this little flower. Right here, it's just a plain flower. And I think the outside of, of the card is Calypso. So I'm gonna go on and put that little flower. that for a feeling better kind of day okay now I only have to do one more thing I want to cut out the sending happy thoughts I'm gonna cut that out and I want to use let me see if I can find these dies I know I have them here somewhere again this is how I stamp I don't know if it's how you stamp but it is a hundred percent how I stamp so let me look at my dies here I think I'm gonna use the stitch Shapes. Did you guys know the stitched shapes is um, on back order? It is. So just so you know. You know what? I'm just going to go on and cut it. All right. I'll go on and cut it. All right. Use this. This is one of my easy little tricks here. Cut this. Joker down. Yes, that'll be good. And then I just like to snip the edges on a diagonal. All right, good. So here's what we've got here. Sending happy thoughts. I'm going to pop that up with the dimensionals, which will be easy. And then you guys are gonna be like, oh no, Julie, what have you done? You're gonna see it in just a minute, because I see it now, okay? Sending happy thoughts. Now look at this, I just did this insert. Look at that black out right there. Look at that. You know what, I'm not gonna freak out about it, because you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna cut it off. We're gonna cut it off, so you can't even see it. No, I gotta cut a little bit more. There we go, and now it's a weird shape. So I'm gonna cut that right there. And that's what's gonna go on the inside. And it's gonna look cute, see? So no issues here whatsoever. Is it, Jen, the second or third time they've gone on back order? Yeah, they are very popular. See, that's still cute. The person who gets this is never gonna know. Never gonna know. Huh. <laughs> They are not going to know that I had to cut it down, but what they will know <laughs> is that they have to open their card backwards. <laughs> you guys, honest to goodness, don't you want that blue little mini Big Shot machine? Because if I can do this, you can do this, okay? All right, well, that, that would go right there. Look, let me show you the, <laughs> let me show you the first one. That's the one that I made, okay? So, if you look at it, you can see I initially had made this as a thank you card and I was just changing it over for the happy thoughts. I put some gems on it as well. So anyway, you get the idea. That's funny. I love that. That is almost as bad as the time that I um, set ribbon on fire. I was, <laughs> I was doing a workshop for people and I set the ribbon on fire. So, okay. So that is that card. Unless it's you, then you will know, Jen. Yeah, you would. You would. You would know. Okay. Let's go to... Um, because I just made that huge mess up, let's go to the hard project. That's gonna be the box. Let's talk about a box. So you have a friend who is sick and that friend, um, you wanna give him a little something, right? One of the best things that I know to help you maybe even not get sick, and here's our project here, the wishing you, um, again, I use that wishing you a speedy recovery. Thank you, Jen. 
You're so encouraging. But one of the best things that I know is hand sanitizer. My personal favorite hand sanitizer is Steve's hand sanitizer. Um, Young Living makes it. I love it. I keep it in my purse, but I, so I really like it. But I want to I want to put it in a cute little box. So Wendy Cranford had a tutorial that I found on Pinterest of how to make a box size just for thieves. So after 167 tries, I was able to make it as well. <laughs> so here we go. Let me show you how to do it. So you're going to take your designer series paper. Any designer series paper that you have works fine. Okay. Again, I'm going to use a bit from the Dandy Delights, the sample that I made. Um, oh, I forget what this is called, but it's in the annual catalog and I think it's beautiful. But again, I'm talking about celebration things that you can get for free. So you might as well think about this Dandy Delights. So I have already pre-cut this piece. Okay. I cut this piece down to six and a half right here by five and three quarters right here, okay? Now I'm gonna score. So let me show you this. I made myself a little template so I could follow that. I am a visual learner, I don't know about you. So Wendy had a great handout and that was good, but that just it doesn't translate for me. That's just how I learned. So I um, made the little, the little uh, model. So I am going to score on the six and a half inch side, okay? at one and a half. And remember, I always put my score, I have the X's on my score. So one half inch, then one and a half, then five and a half. So again, on the six and a half inch side, I'm scoring at half an inch, one and a half, and five and a half. Then on the five and three quarter side, I'm scoring at one fourth. And I like to use for the, the tiny measurements, I like to use this side of my big shop. And I just flip it. One and a fourth. Three. And four. And again, if you place an order to get these projects um, sent to you, I will have all the dimensions and everything there for you. Okay? So I've done my scoring. I'm going to go on and move this. That's a good idea, Jen, to have a box of templates for folds. And I'm gonna go on and do my folding on my score lines. I like that this is made out of DSP. It's easier to see my score lines, but you wanna be careful when you're scoring on DSP because the paper is so much thinner. If you um, press down too hard with your scoring blade, then you'll tear through it and you don't wanna do that. Listen to me say it like it's the worst thing in the world. You don't wanna do that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim. On this little corner here, I'm going to trim off this edge right along the score lines, okay? So that's pretty easy. Then what I'm gonna do is just, let me just make sure. Actually, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm also, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna trim this little piece off right here as well. So you can see where I have that template. I'm just following the template. And if you have a template, which I would send you, um, you'd be okay to cut send this little piece off right here. Okay. The, this is going to be the top of the box. Okay, You can kind of see this you, is, is your lid here. And I'm going to cut this off here as well. I'm telling you, once you have a template, it's much, much easier. Okay, I'm going to cut my slits right here. Because these are going to fold in. These are my little tabs, and you know when you do tabs that if you just like kind of angle the corners a little bit, they fold in, they just look a little nicer. So I have a friend that she hates doing boxes. She just, just like, I just freak out when I'm doing them. But I think when you do them, once you do them, you'll find that it is um, a lot easier the more you do. Like the first one, I, I mess up all the time. But then after that, I find that I'm pretty good. All right, and then over here, I'm gonna cut this little tab out right here. And 
then these are just my folds for the bottom, the base of the box. So I'm gonna cut my slits. Okay, and again, same thing with the slits. You just angle them. Is it necessary? No, but it looks a lot better, okay? Uh, you know, I don't know if you've seen pictures of my office when I look out the window. My desk is right up next to the window, which is why I have this smaller desk, because I want it here, and there's just not room for a much bigger one, so that creates a lot of the clutter. But it is a gorgeous day in Tennessee today. I mean, it is really pretty. I, I hope it's nice where you are. I know some people have snow. Okay, that's where we're at. But I hope it's nice where you are, too. All right. Let me see if there's anything here I need to see. Practice makes us wiser as stampers. So I, I love, Jennifer, that you said wiser because I think wiser is a much better word than perfect because I don't think I'll ever be a perfect stamper. Okay, I'm going to fold this in. Now, this is the little quarter piece. So I am going to put a little bit of this glue on here because you want a sturdy adhesive, and tear and tape is a little too wide for that. Okay, so I've got that right there and you, you I mean you guys look you can see this is coming together now it's gonna be super easy okay I am going to fold in my bottom tabs just like that and for this I will use a little bit of tear and tape I don't need to put tear and tape on all of those pieces just the bottom one to hold it together I think tear and tape is a must it's a must for your um, adhesive collection if you're a stamper You've got to have it, I think, for um, for things like this when you're making 3D items. I mean, again, that take a pick tool is so easy to peel, so easy. Okay, so I've got that. Look at there, look how it's coming, look how it's coming. And then I'm gonna go on and angle the top right here of, this, of the flap. And the box is ready. So you could use any DSP that you have. I like my free DSP. Okay, I'm just gonna go in right like that. Look at that, there's your box. So I wanna decorate it real quick because I have expended a ton of energy on trying to make the box. So I'm gonna grab this punch. I'm gonna grab a scrap of the freesia. Punch that out. I'm gonna go back to another white scrap here. I'm gonna stick with that wishing you a speedy recovery. You guys are gonna see this stamp set, wishing you a speedy recovery, um, in each one of these class sessions. So not just this one, but the one two weeks from now as well, because it's it's great. It's $22 and it's just really cute, really versatile um, in terms of the sentiment that you wanna send. There we go. Um, to anybody you know who is sick. And I'll grab that mini boss. See, I got that from Jennifer now. You say you call it a mini boss and a big boss. So that's what I'm gonna do. The mini boss. And run it through. It is very convenient having this right here by my desk, even though it's on the floor. Okay. Line that up. And, oh, it moved good. I got it. Here's a tip as well, which I'm sure you guys know, especially if you're a, an avid stamper, is to use washi tape to hold these down. And if you're not an avid stamper, that's why you need me, because I can teach you how to do all of these. Okay. Let's move that. We've got that. Let's move these. Move this. And um, I'll adhere this. here. Wishing you a speedy recovery. I'll use dimensionals right here. These are almost done, but you guys know we can use the edging as well. And I'm going to put the dimensionals down here because that way I know that I don't have them like too wide if I put them on the back of this. Oh, this is pretty cute. I, I, I do like this. I feel like this redeems me from the card that I did backwards. And if you're just joining us and you're like, I don't know what you're talking about, Julie, you did a card backwards? Well, you're gonna have to go and watch. So, I talked about thieves, right? There it is. It's going right in there. You could put anything in there too if you wanted to. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna add one of these. I don't know if you are familiar with these. 
These are called chimes. They are ginger chews, like if you're nauseated. I keep them up here at my desk, which I don't know what that says about my desk. But um, sometimes, you know, I, I get a little nauseated. So I put a couple of those in there too. So, I mean, that, that's just, that's a cute little gift, I think. Yep. So there you go. There's your box. Ooh, chocolate is great. Mary says hers lives on the boss too. Oh, baby boss. Baby boss is better than mini boss. Okay, baby boss. I'm gonna have to remember that. So this is great. This is a cute little um, gift for somebody who's sick. Like I said, you could even put something else in there making a hostess gift. But these days, everybody likes hand sanitizer. So that's project three that you will get if you place a $35 order. So let me show you now project four, okay? I can't believe we've made it to project four. Made it to project four. Who can believe it? Okay, project four, here we go. Here's this card. I love this card. It uses the flower DSP that I told you about. At this point, if you've been watching, you should know this DSP is a hostess choice. It's in the April or January to April catalog and it's called Flowers and More. Flowers and More. And this stamp set, this image also comes from the Speedy Recovery set. So let me show you this card real quick. And I'm gonna bring back an oldie but a goodie to show you how I colored those flowers. So I've got my base here. I've got my paper that I have cut. I've cut it to um, five and a quarter by four. Y'all, Fiona is fast asleep. She is fast asleep. I am not entertaining her in the slightest. Just here on my couch in my office. Okay, I cut a little piece of vellum to put there, just for a little interest. And I'm just gonna put some adhesive right there in the center. I know people ask sometimes, how do you adhere your vellum? And um, I just say very lightly, but see, this is gonna be covered up. So you're really not even gonna notice it. All right, so I've got that. Um, now I'm going to grab this piece, okay? So I've cut this white and this is where I'm gonna stamp. So back to Speedy Recovery, remember this stamp set, going right there with those cute flowers. And I'm gonna stamp those in Memento Black. And it will just exactly fit. Sometimes I do rub my stamp um, pad, especially like that black one, because I wanna make sure that I get it inked up nicely and I don't wanna like push all over, okay? So let's just go right there. Gentle tap, gentle tap, gentle tap. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so I've got that stamped. Now, this is what I wanna show you when I was talking about the oldie but goodie. And I'm not going to do all of the coloring here because you guys, you know how to do that. But I wanna bring back the blender pen. I love blender pens. When I first got started with Stampin' Up, blender pens, buddy, those are the things that drew me in because I didn't think I could color or watercolor or do things like that. But when I saw that blender pen, I was like, I can do that. Now, if you aren't familiar with a blender pen, a blender pen is simply a, a dual tipped pen. Both the, both the tips are the same and it's filled with glycerin and water. The water does the water coloring look for you. The glycerin sets it. So all you do is you take your blender pen, just swipe it on your ink pad and start to color. Blender pens work best for small images, okay? If you do a blender pen with a large image, A, you're gonna fray the end, B, it's gonna run you nuts. You're, 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 you're not gonna like it, okay? Just trust me on this. You've seen me make enough mistakes to know that when I tell you not to do something, I know what I'm talking about, right? So you see, I just keep going in. I'm coloring my leaves in the granny apple green. It is kind of like watercoloring in that you don't have to stay in the lines. Jen, you know what? The tissue box is cute. And next week, I'm doing a card featuring the tissue box from this stamp set and um, I think you'll like it. So yeah, it's a it's a cute set. So I've got my leaves done. Then you just wipe your blender pen off until no more coloring or no more color appears from it. Then you can go to another color. So if people are asking, well, do I have to have blender pens for every color? My answer is you do not, you do not. Three blender kit pens come in a pack for $12. So that's pretty pretty reasonable and they last a long time. When you do a blender pen, you wanna make sure that you kinda of use the side of the blender pen so that that way you're not fraying the tip. 
That's the thing. The tip, the frayed tip will ruin your blender pen before your blender pen ever runs out of the liquid inside. Ever. So did I did I emphasize that enough? Ever. Ever. So I'm just going around a little bit with this is crushed curry. And you might be saying, well, Julie, how do you decide what colors to use? Well, because I'm not that smart. You know what? I told you guys I wasn't going to color all of this, and that was a lie. Um, I am going to color all of it because I'm actually kind of enjoying coloring all of it. Um, but I look on the back of the DSP. The DSP packs on the back, you've probably seen this, they all have the colors that are used inside of the the the, um, the the paper. So those are just the colors that I use. Here is a thing that you may not know with this paper, this flower paper, which is actually pretty cool. Every single um, of the new in colors, in fact, every, in fact, I think every single in color, maybe even last year's too, those, those are included in here. So it's almost like, with the exception of curry, that and... Um, I think there's one other color, but with the exception of those two colors, every other color in here is an in color. You could see Starry Sky. Um, there's some Parakeet Party in it. So if you got this paper and you had the in colors, you would be in like Flynn. Um, yeah, Jen, I agree. The frayed tip is horrible. You can't do anything with it. So. And now I'm going in with some sweet sorbet. So again, there's no right or wrong to this. It's just a matter of doing it. So I told you that this card was a little harder. It's not hard at all. There's nothing, I'm gonna do my heart there too. There's nothing hard about this card. It just takes a, a little bit of a minute more because you're doing the coloring with it. But that's okay. I mean, I think it's it's fun. So maybe you're somebody out there and you're like, well, I don't have a lot of the blends. I haven't been able to invest in that yet. And I think you get two of them for, it's $9. Um, get a blender pen. Get a pack of blender pens, three for $12. And you will have access to coloring for days with any of the ink pads that you have. So I, mean, I really, y'all, I highly recommend them. I'm a big fan. The tip will be stained, okay? Tip will be stained. But as long as no more color comes out, you're good. You can just switch it back up with colors. So there we go. So I've colored that in. I've already cut out using my scallop contours, a sweet sorbet background. So I'm gonna go on and adhere this. And, oh, Fiona just started snoring. Fiona, don't do that to the people. It's unbecoming, okay? And then there's one more um, stamp in here that I'm gonna use, again, from Speedy Recovery. And it says, I'm here for you. So we're gonna grab that one. I am making a mess here now. I'm gonna go back to one of my scraps. I think this one is gonna do me just fine. And I actually, I'll ink this up. And I don't know, I think that's gonna be a little bit thin. Go back to my little box here. See how handy that bag is? See, I'm here for you, that's okay. You're not gonna see that little tail here. If you get little ink tails like that, um, you can always go in and trim down your rubber. How many of you guys have been around long enough with Stampin' Up that you remember when we had to actually, thank you, Mary, we had to actually um, trim our stamps off. You remember that? where we would trim them and then we would mount them on the on the wood block. I remember that. I would have stamps that would sit there for weeks, which is horrible because I'm like, I don't have time to trim it. I forgot to trim it. Now, I mean, they're all pre-cut, so we don't have to fool with that. But I do remember that. Okay. I'm going to go on to this and I'm going to do the exact same thing that um, I did for that other card. Just kind of Cut the angle there. Use dimensionals. Pop it up right here. And our last project is just about done. Now notice I said just about. So I have one other little thing I'm gonna do here. Okay, we got I'm here for you. I'm gonna pop that right up here. And my last two dimensionals before I go to the edges. Yeah, 
here's what I'm gonna do on these little flowers. Give them a little bit of sparkle. Jennifer, I agree, blender pens are a great item to start out with. I'm gonna go to my Wink of Stella and add just a little bit of glitter on my flowers. A little subtle Wink of Stella. That always just makes everything a little better. If you're asking yourself, what is this Wink of Stella you're talking about? It's just almost like a glitter pen. Just adding a little sparkle to your flowers there. Okay, so here's the project we made. I'm here for you. Here is the finished project I made ahead of time. It's got the gems, it's got your ribbon already around and tied. So again, you will get all the pieces of this card as well. So let me bring the camera up. I'm back, I survived, I survived. Let me bring them back, I'm gonna show you the projects that we made, okay? So again, our Get Well theme, all right, four projects. The I'm Here For You card with some Wink of Stella and some gems and the pretty seam binding ribbon. The next one is this one. This is the messed up one. It doesn't say thank you. It's going to say sending good thoughts. Okay, again, because we're going over the whole get well soon. The next project that we made is this very simple card. Sending you wishes for a speedy recovery. And then we did the box. The box that contains the hand sanitizer and some chocolate or a little candy or like I said, the ginger chews for if they were nauseated, okay? So here's how it works. A, I hope you had a good time. That's the most important thing. B, there's your product, there's your cards. If you are not already working with a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, or, um, well, that's it. If you're not already working with a Stampin' Up! demonstrator um, and you would like to order, I would be honored to take your order. And here's what you'll do. You'll place a $35 order. I will put a link in the, in the um, comments for it. You will get mailed to you the pre-cut supplies to make these four projects. If you place a $50 order, you will choose a celebration item. You will get the supplies to make these four projects all get well themed and I will send you a package of these iridescent gems that we used. So that's what I have for you. But here's the thing. You only have one week to get these projects. Next Monday when I do session two of our get well class, um, I'll have different projects and those will be the ones that are mailed to you. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming and watching this. You guys know that, that I'm like kind of spotty here and I'm working on doing better with it. Um, as I rebuild my business, but Jennifer, you're so faithful and encouraging. Thank you for that. Mary, thank you for being a part of my team and coming on. I'm so excited for you and the workshop that you have um, this week as well. So I appreciate you all. Um, share it with your friends if you want to and have a fantastic, a fantastic day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.